First up, the innovation that made every other team go, wait, that's legal. The DAS system, dual axis steering. The W11 almost didn't happen. Its predecessor, the W10, was dominant but flawed. Picture Mercedes engineers in 2019, watching their car overheat at the Austrian Grand Prix, finishing third and fifth when they should have won. They lost 11 pole positions to Ferrari and Red Bull because they couldn't get their tires working properly. The W10 had a narrow performance window. It was like having a supercar that only worked perfectly on Tuesdays between 2 and 4 p.m. For a team used to dominating, this was unacceptable. So Mercedes did what champions do. They went back to the drawing board and created something that would redefine what we thought was possible in motorsport. First up, the innovation that made every other team go, wait, that's legal. The DAS system, dual axis steering. The steering wheel was basically a cheat code built into the car. Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas could literally push and pull their steering wheel to change the toe angle of their front tires on long straights. Push the wheel forward to bring the front tires closer to parallel, cut drag, reduce tire scrub and keep temperatures down. Pull the wheel back to increase toe out, give the front end more bite and get better turn in and stability. But it wasn't just about speed, it was about tire management. By adjusting the toe angle, they could control how much heat their tires generated. Less heat meant more consistent performance over longer stints. It was a secret weapon that made their tires last longer while everyone else was struggling with degradation. Other teams were studying onboard footage like, what are they doing with their hands? It took months for people to figure out what was happening, and by the time they did, Mercedes had already dominated half the season. The best part, it was completely legal. For exactly one season, then the FIA banned it for 2021. But the damage was done. 